welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to pre-enroll on universe italy okay so after you've gotten acceptance from a university in italy you're going to go on ahead and pre-enroll to that university so the first thing you do is you come to universe italy okay you need to pre-enroll to be able to continue with the rest of the process okay so you need to go on to University Italy and then accept the universities and like, you know, acceptance of you. Then the university is going to validate um, the information and then they're going to send it over to the embassy in your home country, which will help you to request for your visa. Okay, so that is why this step is actually very, very important. You write University Italy on Google and then you come here then this is the new universe italy platform okay i made um i made a video on how to pre-enroll um, in the last academic year but then the sites have been enhanced so this is the new platform so when you come here this is the same site that you come and search for programs in italy and then remember this site is by the italian government okay so it's a site by the italian government for international students so you're going to go on, you come here. Please follow me closely. I'm not feeling well, so my voice is a bit not clear. But then I had to make this video um, because the only opportunity I have now is I'm pre-enrolling for a student that I applied, I had applied to the University of Casino for. We applied for a bachelor's and then we, are, we, we applied on the 23rd and then he had gotten admission by the 25th so today i'm going on ahead to pre-enroll to the university for him so i thought of using the opportunity to show you guys how to pre-enroll onto the site so you're going to come here using the student details so if you're a new user you're going to go to register you change it to english then you fill all of these options so your first name your surname your country of birth is because i'm in italy that that's why they've placed it in italy so you're going to change your country of birth to wherever is your country of birth then um your county of birth so like your province then your city of birth then your date of birth you're going to include it your sex your citizenship your tax code so your tax code if you're university some universities while applying they actually get students tax code so if you already have that please input it here okay then your email you confirm your email then your mobile phone then you come down your document type your document number issued by the authority that issued it then its validity from when and when does it expire if you have a residence permit then you're going to include the details if you don't then you are just going to go to the country so an example let me go to um, ghana so basically you have to fill all of these details and then you save it an email will be sent to you and then from there they'll give you your password and then your username you enter into the site and then you change the for the first time you change your password then you can go on ahead with the pre-enrollment but then with the students i'm pre-enrolling for the students have already done the registration so i'm going to enter into the system And then immediately you're going to come here so here you can check your personal details okay here to cross check if everything is correct if you need to edit any anything you can edit it there as well okay everything is here but then from there you're going to go to this place So you go to come here and then you go to this place 
So it is the first step of the pre-enrollment process. So here your personal details, everything. You have to ensure that everything is correct. All this will be included in the details sent to the university. So you ensure that everything is correct. Then you go to go to step B. In here, you come here. Let me translate the page. Here you can see you have to include your passport, your passport expiry, expiry date, then um, passport photo image, then passport image. Okay. So here you choose whichever one mm. that you'll be applying for visa. You choose where you'll be applying for visa. So Lagos. Then please indicate the reason for requesting for this visa, joint double or joint title. No, I want to enroll in a study course. Then you come down to your institution, university. Okay. Type of course at the university. Degree. Languages. English language. Name of course. Business economics. It has automatically generated. Because these students have already gotten admission in the university. And also, mm, yeah, it's business economics that he applied for. Mm, so let's go. Course curriculum, economics and commerce, it economics and business, mm, mm, English. The course is being offered in English. Okay, course location, this is it. Then the University of Kassin is out in last year, okay. Course, okay. Type degree, English, okay. Class, okay. Identification account at the chosen university. University. So this is step C, upload the qualification that allow access to the chosen course according to the information provided by the higher education institution with any translations and supporting documents and language certificates. So with this whole list, you check if you feel like there's a document you've uploaded and you've uploaded it wrongly, just click on this to delete. So I'm going to delete one. Then you're going to click on summary. And then the entire summary will be shown to you. Everything that you've uploaded. be shown to you and you see here the undersigned declares that to be aware that the data documents reported in this are true and to be okay um you accept everything then after that you click on 
this. Then I've read the data processing and then you send a pre-registration application. And that is it. You are totally done. He has sent his pre-application to that of the University of Casino in Southern Lazio on this date, you know. So it's fairly easy to send in your, um, to go through the pre-enrollment process, okay. So that is all that you guys need to know. If you found value in this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with someone else. If you encounter any challenges throughout the process, you can always reach out to them and then they will offer you assistance. You can either reach out to your institution or reach out to their technical support team. So that is it. I wish you guys the best and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.